No kidding. Am I crazy, or didn't we finish shooting the dog food commercial Friday night? George, you gotta help me. Charlie's late. The dog food people are waiting in his office. They're starting to growl and nip. What is going on around here? You tell him, Ray. You didn't tell him? You did not. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well? Well, uh, see, when the chow down guys saw the commercial you shot, they got a little upset. Charlie promised them you'd uh, shoot some funny mistakes so they'd get a chance to run it in one of those TV blooper shows. He promised I'd make mistakes a on purpose? Kind, just a few. Well, networks don't allow that, Ray. George, please. Chow Down's one of our biggest clients. I'll kill him. Is he in yet? No, and I called his apartment and there was no answer. He went hang gliding over New Jersey this weekend. Maybe he met a stewardess. <laughs> oh, I get it. He's afraid to face me. He's going to show up later with some lame excuse that is such a typical Charlie Sorrell trick. Well, not this time, Charlie. George, please. You're making me nervous. Don't do this. No please, more George, tricks, please. Charlie. George. George, it's Charlie. What's this. He's not going to get me this time, Rich. George, he's not on the phone. He's dead. Yeah, he was hang gliding, and he just glided and glided right out over and into the river. <laughs> and they never found the body. Just his little wings washed up on shore. <laughs> and thanks for calling, buddy. Bye. Goodbye, Charlie. I'll miss you, you son of a gun. Excuse me, but I live upstairs, and I found this naked woman in the elevator. <laughs> Is she yours? Huh? She insisted on coming here. I think she's in some sort of trouble. Look, fella, I'd love to help you out, but my friend Charlie Sorrell... Charlie is... Sorrell. Is this some kind of a joke? Look, I'm very tired. Hey, look, I... mister, it's not my apartment she insisted on coming to. I think she's got amnesia, and I'm very late for dinner. I'll get my coat another time. <laughs> hey, hey, fella! Look, miss, uh, I don't know what Charlie told you, but he's gone. See, well, he's dead. A and you better go right now. I'll give you some cab money and you can take a cab, okay? <laughs> miss, miss, wake up, please. Miss, miss, please, don't do this. Please, miss, miss. Okay, I I I'll get you something to drink. Here, Here you can take a sip. Miss, uh, miss. <laughs> Here, just, just take a sip, okay? Yeah. There, yeah, good. All right, I think... <laughs> just a sip? <laughs> Look, I'm gonna call the police, okay? Police? Yeah, see, they'll come and they'll find you someplace safe to sleep tonight, and in the morning, you remember everything. No, please, they... please, please. Look, could you just let me stay here tonight? I uh, promise, I promise I'll go in the morning. Please, please help me. Please help me. All right. Just for tonight. <laughs> okay. You can sleep in this. Thank you. I'm sure I'll remember something here. Good night. Good night. No, could you leave it open? I'm a little scared of the dark. 
Remember, early in the morning, you go. Thank you. It's funny. Charlie hated the dark, too. George, George, listen to me. I know who I am. It came to me while I was sleeping. I'm very happy for you. George, it's me, Charlie. George, I'm Charlie Sorrell. And I'm Boy George. George, don't you know me? Look at me. I don't understand this any more than you do, but it suddenly came to me in my sleep. I'm Charlie. No, you're not. You're crazy. <gasps> George, 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 stop, stop. I can prove it. I know everything about you. You write and direct TV commercials. Your real dream is to write a Broadway show, and you tried, but nobody wanted to see a musical about Death Row. <laughs> all this proves is that you knew Charlie, and he told you that. Come all right, on. all right, all right, all right, all right. Two years ago, he had chest pains playing tennis. Oh, come on, miss. It turned out to be nothing, but ever since then, you've been fanatical about your health. You won't eat anything that ever had a face. <laughs> Lots of people don't eat faces. Don't... All right. All right, George. All right. I didn't want to hurt you, but I have to bring out the big guns. Remember last summer in Southampton? Huh? Low rain. <laughs> she two-timed you. She ran off to Bermuda with some good-looking guy who promised to marry her. He dumped her down there. She called you from Bermuda, and you wouldn't take the phone calls. Well, why should I talk to her? She hurt me. She was a gold digger. The only reason she went with me is because she thought I was loaded. You? You were the guy? She had a small tattoo on her right hip. A cricket. <laughs> Charlie, you miserable rat. How could you do such a thing? George, I did it for you. The girl was no good, and you wouldn't see it. It was the only way. But you, my best friend, only you would do such a low, immoral thing to help a friend. Charlie, you're nothing but a... Oh, my God. You see, George? <sighs> you know who I am, don't you? This, this can't be happening. <laughs> Thank God I still smoke. <laughs> Cigarette's gonna kill you, Charlie. <laughs> what do they want from me, George? I, I don't know. Do you remember what happened? I mean, when you became reincarnated. George, do you believe in reincarnation? No. Oh. Yes. Oh, George, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm losing it, George. I'm scared. Okay, look, look, look. Calm, 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 calm. Stay steady. Stay calm. Stay calm. You, for reasons we don't understand, are no longer a man. Why couldn't I have come back as a toad, a cocker spaniel, anything, but not a girl? I know girls, George. They're nuts, dangerous. Psychotic. They lie to you. Well, you weren't so nice to them, you know. Hey, 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 it was only in self-defense. Maybe that's it. There is an all-wise, all-seeing providence. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Tit for tat. <laughs> all your life, you've taken advantage of women, see? Now the punishment's been created. Instead of pitching, you're a catcher. <laughs> You stop talking like that, George. You're scaring me. Wait, 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 look on the bright side. Did it hurt Gloria Steinem to be a girl? Helen Gurley Brown? Punky Brewster? <laughs> They're all girls. All of them. Didn't seem to hurt them. George, would you excuse me? I gotta go powder my nose. <laughs> Remember, sit down. <laughs> comfortable that way. Yeah, another plus. <laughs> Maybe that's why women live longer than men. They get to rest while they go to the bathroom. <laughs> What are you doing? It's just us. 
Thought you might like to see. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Cut that out. Here, cover yourself. No, it's weird, but just now in the bathroom, I had this sudden desire. I don't know where it came from to shave my legs. This is going to take some getting used to. It's wild, isn't it? I mean, I feel like a woman. It's like I got the mind of Charlie Sorrell. It's just all mixed up in something soft and clinging, tender. Look, I think we both better get some sleep, and we'll figure this out in the morning, OK? Yeah. George, can I just ask you something? Well, sure, pal. Man to man. Do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> He's got it! He's got it! He's got it! <laughs> oh, Fantosky, you bum! Yeah? Well, hi there. Oh, hi. <laughs> I wouldn't mind my just dropping by, but I wanted to make sure you were okay. Oh, by the way, my name's Troy Benjamin. Charlie. Ian. Charlene Sorrell. Wait a minute. Charlene? Oh, uh -huh. Well, I guess you'd like your coat back. <laughs> no, hurry, sweet cheeks. <laughs> you know, I've lived in this building for two years. How'd I ever miss an incredible-looking babe like you? <laughs> Look, Troy, whatever... You smoke those? Uh... Uh, no. Uh... <laughs> Cuban fish. <laughs> you know, Charlene, I don't believe in playing games. Really? Now, I know you're attracted to me. I mean, come on, I can feel the vibes. Listen, you lay one hand on my vibes. Charlene, <laughs> do you have any idea what a woman like you does to a man? More than you know, man. <laughs> More than you know. Good. <laughs> Hey, you try that one more time. <laughs> you try that two more times. <laughs> now, how do you feel? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Except for the whisker burn. So, your place or mine? Oh, Troy, stop, please. I mean, you gotta let me catch my breath. Oh, wow, wow. I really am a woman. Uh, this is all very new to me. New? What's new? Well, uh, 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 frankly, it's my first time. Uh, where's my coat? What's the matter? This is an advanced class, honey. I don't teach beginners. <laughs> What's with him? Oh. Do you have any idea what kind of trouble I'm in? I mean, just a few days ago, I was a normal, red-blooded American male. Now I'm an inept, clumsy virgin. Be grateful. You're still American. What am I going to do? Well, you got to go back to work, buddy. Oh, right. Get my old job back. Why do you think I was so good at it? I flattered those guys. I set them up with cheap women. I went to football games with them. I got drunk with them. I was one of the boys. Now I'd be one of those cheap women. <laughs> you had the wrong attitude. No, I had the wrong measurements. <laughs> so you got to start out at the bottom. See, that's what women do. But that's not fair. Look, I got you an interview tomorrow. There's an opening at the office. Oh, what do you say, buddy? I am not going on any interview. I can't. Well, why not? Well, for one thing, I don't have a thing to wear. Yes, you do. Here. For me? Oh, George, how sweet. <laughs> oh, gee, I don't know. I've never worn this color before. <laughs> what am I saying? I've never worn a dress before. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
You know, I can live with the pantyhose, but I sure wish you'd give me back my wingtips. <laughs> Here you go, Charlene. Thank you. Oh, George Ray will be in in a minute. Ray? Ray who? Oh, Ray Lemon. He's our new vice president. Ray Lemon's our new vice president? Uh, yes, yes. You know Ray? Uh, just that uh, George here has told me so much about him. Oh, yeah, well, he is a big jerk, but believe me, he is much better than the guy who had the job before him. <laughs> So what a jackass this man. Nobody liked him. Vicky, the phones are ringing off the hook out there. Oh, uh, just a minute, Victoria. What about Charlie Sorrell? Uh, hey, it's bad luck to speak about the dead. Uh, not if you say something nice. Go ahead. Say something nice about Charlie? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nobody liked me? That's a lie, isn't it, George? Well, let's face it, Charlie. You weren't the nicest guy in the world. And they gave that know-nothing nerd my job? He's sitting at my desk, pinching my secretary? <laughs> By the way, why is he interviewing me, George? He he's looking for a secretary. <laughs> a secretary? George, George, wait, wait, wait. I won't do it, George. Yes, don't you see? You know that job inside out. You can help him. Help him? I'm George, not going to help him. Well, that's the only way you're going to get your job back. You just have to start out as a secretary. Oh, who are you kidding? That's how we tell all the secretaries. <laughs> well, you are a girl, for Pete's sake. What do you expect? Oh, I can't believe what it's shooting us from Dundon. This is just Too much lipstick. She was wearing too much lipstick. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> You must be Charlene. Yes, I am. I'll just leave you two alone. No, I... no, I would rather you stay. <laughs> this is my first job interview, so I'm a little nervous. Hey, I understand. I'm a little new at this myself. Never hired a secretary before. Well, then maybe I should be interviewing you. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cute. Why don't you have a seat right over here and uh, ask me anything you want, little lady? Little lady. Oh, excuse me, sorry. It's a little habit I picked up from Charlie. He always called his secretaries that. Who's Charlie? He's the guy who had the job before Ray. Yeah, he died tragically. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, Charlene is very anxious to learn all she can about the world of television commercials. Huh? Aren't you, Charlene? I'm dying to. Oh, well, I'm certainly willing to take a chance on a pretty girl like you. Your being George's cousin doesn't hurt either. <laughs> Just keep your mouth shut, your eyes open. You can learn a lot from me. Oh, I love a man who takes charge. Well, okay. <laughs> How about starting tomorrow? Tomorrow is soon enough. Thank you. Great. And, uh, by the way, you know what clinched it for you? Your legs. I'm a big leg man. <laughs> <laughs> Why was I the one who had to die, George? Just remember, everything you don't like about him, he learned from you. Where are you going? I can't do it, George. I'm not taking this job. Charlie, you have to. What, what else can you do? You have no experience, no skills, no nothing. Nothing? Oh, really, George? Nothing? You are forgetting, George, that I still have Charlie Sorrell's incredibly crafty mind. Add to that Charlene's equipment. <laughs> I will think of something. <laughs> Good morning, Charlie. Hi, George. What are you doing up? It's four o'clock in the morning. Oh, gee, I hadn't noticed. Where the hell have you been? Look, I'm very sorry. Troy dropped by to apologize. We went up to his place for a drink, and one thing led to another. You didn't. Nothing happened. You know, he was too much like the old me. That animal. <laughs> so I left. I went to my old watering hole. Do you realize a woman can't even sit alone in a bar? Now, I was a target for every guy in the place. They all reminded me of me. Tomorrow morning, I am sending flowers to every woman I was ever with, saying, I'm sorry, signed a dead pig. Hey, look, pal, today's a new day. It's a new beginning. You're going to take that job. Yeah, George, I don't need any dumb job. I need a husband. 
That's the only way I'm ever going to get out of this mess. You can't just get married. It's dishonest, a fraud, and it wouldn't work. So what? Eventually, I'll get divorced. At least I'll have a name, an identity, and the only thing that I have ever envied women for having, alimony. <laughs> okay, okay, that's it. I, I, I can't handle this, okay? I, you don't need me. Charlie, I've had it with you. Where are you going? What are you doing? I'm helping you pack. You will never change, Charlie. You're a user. Only now, instead of using women, you're using men. But, George, please, I can't afford a place of my own. I'm broke. Fine. I'll give you a loan. You can pay me back when you get your alimony. <laughs> George, don't, please. I'll panic. What? You panic? Charlie Sorrell? I'm not Charlie. I'm a throwback. Something from the deep lagoon. <laughs> I'm tired of your excuses. Oh, give me a chance, George. I mean, I'm new at this. For 30 years, I've been a fink. Suddenly, I'm an ingenue. I am finished, Charlie. It is too crazy for me. Uh, George, please, can't you see? I'm not Charlie. I'm not Charlie Sorrell. I'm scared. At least with us, with you and me, we can talk, but alone I'll just fall apart. Look at me. Oh, damn, I hate girls who cry. I'm getting your coat now. All right, you're right. I'll take the job. I have to take the job. I'll be a good girl. I'll be a good secretary. I'll do anything you want. Please, just don't leave me, George. I'm so scared. Please. It's gonna be all right. There, there. Okay. Okay, now. I'll take care of you, okay? I like to blow my nose. Okay, here. <laughs> Better now? Yeah. What's the matter, George? What's the matter? We were practically necking. Oh, George, don't be ridiculous. You put your head on my shoulder. I felt so secure. Wanted. Wanted? Well, I can't help how I feel. Don't be mean to me. Oh, mean to you? What about me, Charlie? You think this is easy for me? We play, we drink together for years. We even chase girls together. And now, look at us. That's why I need you, George. I need you to help me get through this. You're the only one I can talk to. Oh, please, George. Please let me stay, please. All right. Oh, thank you. I promise I'll be good. Okay, don't make any promises you can't keep. Remember, deep down inside, you're still Charlie Sorrell. Yeah. <laughs> George, if I'm really going to stay, there's just one thing I've got to know. What is it, buddy? You always really liked me, didn't you? Of course I did. <laughs> America more with Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi of India. We'll find out how to make a hospital stay less scary for your child. And Joan Rivers joins us on Good Morning America. Sunday, see man and machine become one in an experiment that links a brain to a computer on Ripley's Believe It or Not. Then Sally Field and Michael Caine star in Beyond the Poseidon Adventure, the Sunday night movie. Now stay tuned as David Hartman hosts The Future Is Now, an ABC special, next.